What is up everybody? Welcome to another vlog. I am currently doing like three vlogs at once today, so it might get a little confusing. But today we are ripping into the RZR Turbo S. My 2019 Turbo S that has been pretty much doing absolutely nothing for me for about the six months that I had it. So finally, what I've been wanting to do for a while was build it, make it look nice like my last one, which is right there that we gave away. Don't worry, we're not giving this thing away, but we took everything apart, powder coated it all, painted everything, powder coated the uh, roll cage, new roll cage, of course. So we have a roll cage for this. We're gonna show you all the parts that we have for it, but we do have a roll cage for this one as well. Same exact one as that, which is a cage work sport roll cage. So it's a lot lower profile, beefier, looks better. And uh, yeah, it also comes with the roof, but that's a powder coat already. We just wanted to get it out of the shop with the powder coat. So basically what we're gonna do on this thing as far as powder coat, which is what we're gonna be doing today is taking off everything and getting it ready for powder coat. We'll probably drop it off as well. So A arms, front and rear, radius arms in the rear. And uh, anything that's blue basically is gonna get taken off, powder coated black. Even the coils are going to get taken off. So we do have the coil machine right here that we can take those off very easily with. We'll take those off, powder coat those black as well. Now come over here, we have some parts laid out. EVP, Evolution Power Sports, if you guys are familiar with razors and UTVs in general, Evolution Power Sports is one of the top guys in the industry for exhausts and tuners and just performance in general. So Evolution Power Sports, I believe this is the captain's choice exhaust, so it does have Valvetronic where you can open and close the valves. Now you can't just open and close it like a car with a remote. This one's automatic, so once you get over a certain RPM range, then it opens up and you have both of your tips active but if you're below a certain rpm range only one of them is active also have the tuner for it so i honestly don't quote me on this i'm not sure what these things make stock i think it's around 170 with the tuner it'll gain about 20 horsepower so it should be right below 200 again not 100 sure on that but cognito doors cognito motorsports same lift that's on lg and 11 and this, this is a new vlog and i just said it in the last vlog which was about five minutes ago for me but for you know this is a whole new vlog so Winner for this should be announced by the end of today. Still waiting to hear back. It is only uh, 12.56, November 11th. So by the end of today, we should have a winner. By the time you're seeing this, we probably already announced the winner. So this truck will be gone very, very soon. But LG D12 is live and ends on November 22nd. And by the time that you're seeing this video, Supporters Choice Giveaway number 10 is live for only five days. So if you get entered by the time that you see this video, while you see this video, you also have a chance to win any of these prizes here, like this Oculus, which is a VR set. I'm not too into that stuff, but I know it's a very, very popular thing. Bunch of JBL Flip 4 speakers, AirPods Pros, GoPro Hero 9s, two of them. Uh, Mavic Air 2 drone, iPad Pro, the new one. Beats Solo Pros, we've got two of those. Here's the other one and a bunch of the new Apple Watches, Series 6. So this one's red, we have a navy blue one, a white one, and a black one. So, get entered to an LG D12 between the 17th, or no, not the 17th, the 12th and the, one second. So from the 12th to the 17th of November, every single order that's placed on lgdspyco.com is not only gonna get you five times the entries to win this truck, and $20,000 in cash, but it's also gonna get you the chance to win one of these 17 awesome prizes right here. So we do a lot of these. We do one every single giveaway where we actually get a whole bunch of stuff that you guys like, and then we give it away to you just for entering our main giveaway. So if you want a chance to win any of those badass prizes and a badass truck and $20,000 cash, then enter probably while you're seeing this video because it'll probably be between the 12th and the 17th. Definitely will. So when you're first seeing this video, head over to the website, grab some gear, and you're automatically entered. Anyways, back to the video. So, Cognito doors, as I was saying, Cognito Motorsports, same kit that this has. They also make UTV stuff. So these are Cognito full metal doors. The stock ones are big and bulky and plastic and they look all right, but we want the big metal ones. They're a lot safer. For what? Move your truck forward. They're a lot safer and we can wrap them a lot easier. So these are single, they're basically just one piece of metal and um, yeah, they look good. But anyways, other stuff, it's over here. So method beadlock wheels, we'll open those up and show you once we get them over there. We also have the rigid um, mirror 
lights, which are basically LED pods inside of mirrors. And those are gonna go on once you get the roll, roll cage back from powder coat. And then we have a stage five Rockford Fosgate, full sound system, comes with subs, tweeters, speakers, amp, everything. So that's actually made specifically for the RZR. And uh, that's gonna be badass because one thing that I always complain about that I don't have is a sound system. So finally, finally gonna be doing it. That's probably gonna be the hardest part about this build. Not hard, but most time, um, time consuming. I should say. Anyway, so let's get into it. Let's start ripping this thing apart. And we could probably even throw the exhaust on today, just because it's so easy. All right, so here we go. These are the exact same tires that we did on the last Razor. We're gonna grab four of these, and then we are all set for parts with this thing. Now, if you guys have any ideas on other stuff that we could do that's different, that you haven't really seen before, well, I'm new to the whole Razor thing, and I really don't care too, too much about it, besides, like, Exterior parts and performance a little bit. I think we're gonna do rock lights on this too. I forgot about that. We are gonna do rock lights. Yep. Yep. John loves it. Loves it. Um, but I saw a picture of a completely murdered out, and I'm, I think you saw it too. I showed you. Completely murdered out razor with windows, plexiglass windows, I would assume. Um, now, I don't really know if I could, I could definitely find someone to make custom windows. But if anybody that's watching this knows the company, if there was a company that made the window specifically for that razor, and can do it for another type of roll cage, then let me know because I really wanna put windows on this thing so that in the winter when it's snowing, we don't have freaking snow going right into our eyes and getting all wet inside. And heat, is there any heaters, heater options for these things? I don't know, just any ideas, cool ideas that you have for this thing that we could do, let me know below. There it goes. Those go on each other, don't lose that. And one radius arm is off. These things come apart so fast, probably takes a total of like three hours if you're new four hours maybe to take the suspension apart and if you're you've done it before and you're like an rzr tech maybe like an hour for us it's like in between but all the plastics are coming off as well don't know if i mentioned that so all the blue plastic since the black or sorry since the blue powder coat is going to get powder coated black the blue plastic is going to get painted black so the graphics are also going to be done this week and apparently, Sam tells me that New England Graphics, the guy who was doing them, is going to come install them himself. So we could make that a vlog. We're not going to have the black stuff, the black painted stuff back yet. So if we do that, we're going to have to wrap the rest of it, doors and stuff, and just wait till we get that stuff back. But at least we got a good idea. And these graphics are sick. So if you guys watched the video where we went to New Hampshire, um, the video where we actually towed the trailer, with this thing with the high country on it and the razor. We took the razor up there and there was a burnout contest up at this uh, truck show, 603 Diesel's truck show. And uh, the rear brake pads caught on fire. So here is the aftermath of that. These things don't like burnouts when you're doing a brake stand. However, if you strap them down to a door and uh, you do an all wheel drive burnout, they do very, very well. Sam will put a clip of that right here. smoke caliper no it's like the plastic on the outside is what burnt. what plastic the plastic in the seals mm -hmm. i think it's good all right and just like that strut's out got that down gotta take this side out you just got the whole rear piece on the oh. table on the table <laughs> yeah this is uh so this is the ass piece we bag everything all the time so a little camera a little unit ass piece just naked so we're gonna take the tail lights paint the black the blue black and uh did you take the coil over off in the yeah back? Right. you already got it yeah. off right there. so let's show them how to take off the coil using the brainic coil Cool. It's, it's like 700 bucks, so if you have 700 bucks to spend on a tool, it'll make your life a whole lot easier if you do a lot of coil loops. Better than doing any sort of sketchy zip tie right press. Just slap it in, man. Bring these boys up. All you gotta really do is compress the lower one. Stick the lower one. 
on his little tongues. Is that gonna fit in there? So every single arm is adjustable. So you can get, you can literally do any type of coil. On these. Come on, brother. So you want it to be perfectly center every which way. So drop this one down a little more. And now we're centered. These things are sharp. <laughs> okay. so now we did not need to go up that high whatsoever. This one's most likely not even gonna touch just until we get down a little further. All right. So basically, begin. Pretty simple coming out of the wall, but it's done. <laughs> no. like that well the damn bolts in there but just like that coils are off we're gonna keep them at the same height that they were factory now you want to slowly release this don't worry it's not going anywhere once it's completely decompressed same thing goes for truck coil overs same thing goes for car coil overs all the same thing now do this for the other four or other three and we're good to go Voila. Are they all the same? Front hugs out. All right, let's see if we can find the paint coat on this thing because realistically I want those, even though all of the black's gonna be wrapped in the new graphics, I still somewhat kind of want to mask the paint coat. So normally it's on the Vintag and uh, it is not on the Vintag. Okay, probably can find it online. But realistically, this is all that we're painting. And this is all gonna be covered up by wrap anyways, right? No, it's not. This piece doesn't even get wrapped. That's right. That is right. Yeah, the whole front fascia does not get wrapped. Okay. So yeah, I do want that to be the same color. It's got metallic. It was real slow. There we go. Nice black. I'll find it online. All right, all right so the whole rear end is a part all that blue right out of there um coils all pressed out john is killing it on the front all right mary thank you so much i'll talk to you soon have a good night here we go phone call over perfect he's got one of the big bottom bars out Pressed out, ready to go. This nut is like so, like I can't even get it back on. Once the suspension is off, we are then gonna take off the, I mean really we don't need to take off the cage and the doors, cause that's not getting powder coated. So we'll leave that on for now. Once the suspension is off, that's it. This is, this thing's So fast. What, yeah. Apart? yeah. Not like a truck. No. All right, so listen up. If you want the stock tires and wheels, they are going to go up for sale because we're not going to need them anymore. Um, these are the Turbo S ones, though, so they do come with 32s. The other ones, I don't remember the exact size, but they are definitely not 32s. The non-Turbo S comes with much smaller tires because that's what the other one was. So ITP, Coyote, 32 by 10, 15 tires, and then the 15-inch wheels front and back. One or two burnouts on them, but still have plenty of tread. Also, going to have the stock cage for sale as well. So since it's the Turbo S, it also comes with the roof, factory roof, factory cage. Uh, yeah, comment below, DM me on Instagram, shoot me an offer. So it appears as though Polaris has Hulk <laughs> assembling these things because the uh, top coilover mount on this thing just is not going anywhere. Come on, Squiddy. Come on, smoothness. Oh. 
put, put some muscle into it. I'll put some muscle into put, it. Put some torque into it. Come on. Well, if I can't. John, put, you try. Yeah. Here, you get in here. Just make sure you don't <laughs> blow the reservoir out. You just gotta, like, stop or it. Or the, uh, the sensor up here. Yeah. So now it's really gripping. Not. Ooh. There you go. That's it. That's what it is. It's, it's the quick movements. Yeah. You need the quick jolt. Come on, John. John's a pro with this. <gasps> did that crack or did it just come off? I think it cracked. Hey, it cracked. Cracked loose? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. See? The quick jolts. Yeah. There we go. Back to my original issue. All right, John is working on taking out all the bushings, C clips, Sir clips, and everything else out of the A arms to get them ready for powder coat. All the rest of them are ready to go. I got all the coils off of the coilovers and Squiddy is taking off the exhaust. Here she comes. And here it comes. Who's she? She? Yeah. She is the exhaust. Uh -huh. <laughs> God damn it. That one sucks. I remember that one. You know a little clip on top of the, not the clip, the spring on top of the exhaust, John? Oh yeah. That one sucks. on this one. That one sucks. You need like a, hey, you need a vice grip. Yeah, I need a vice grip. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> I almost got you dying. That's the only thing holding this thing on. That's pretty much the only thing that does hold it on. That little, that little spring right there. Exhaust on these things are so easy to put on. And she's on. And here she comes. Like that. And throw it outside. Throw it outside. Come on. Open the door and toss it. Kick it with your foot. There you go. Toss it. Close the door. Oh, sensor fell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Every single piece of blue powder coated metal on the razor. As you can see, there is no more blue. It is all black. Everything is off, including the plastics, foils, of course, and it is all going to get dropped off at powder in about five minutes. So we're going to load it up in the Ram. Get it over to powder coat he's gonna knock it out like i said he already has the cage there so in the next video we will probably put the cage on and the doors on same video we'll probably do a separate video for the exhaust install on its own and then a completely separate video for the sound system because that's going to be a whole process in itself so we do have quite a bit more to do this but it will not take too too long i'm anticipating it's probably gonna take about a week to get this whole thing done um then again, like I said, graphics, he's going to come sometime this week, probably Friday, and we will vlog that as well. So there will be an RZR build process. This is part one. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like the video, comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to enter LGN12.